welcome back to my youtube channel so today we'll be discussing how to get rid of dandruff so first things first let's dig into what exactly causes dandruff so y'all i did some research so come to find out what actually causes dandruff is either not shampooing enough irritated skin oily skin also a yeast like fungus that feeds off of dead skin which comes to find out a lot of adults have so basically a lot of it deals with not not having a proper hair care routine for your scalp as well for your scalp and also it being irritated so dealing with some of the products some of the products you may feel like is working for you can actually be causing you dangerous so make sure you pay attention to that and then also not washing your hair enough like i mentioned before for a long time like i didn't know how to really take care of my hair it took to, it took me till about 15, 15 and a half to really figure out what, what my hair disliked and what my hair started to like. And this was a years long process. I watched plenty of YouTube videos. I started reading to different oils. I did a lot of research to figure out what my hair likes and what it dislikes. It took a lot for my hair to get really healthy to this day because I was in the... I, I made a mistake of using the wrong products. A lot of shampoos come to find out dried the heck out of my scalp. And then... Oh, I actually want to say that. So let's talk about the things that actually cured and what actually helped me along my journey to get rid of my dandruff. And I'm pretty sure this can help you guys too. So relating back to the buildup of oils, which can cause your skin to be irritated. They both intertwine with a lot of things. So what I began to do, I started to wash my hair more frequently. At first, I would wash my hair like once a week or a little bit over a week sometimes but honestly that was not what my scalp needed and once i started to wash my hair more i wash my hair about two two times a week sometimes three depending on like my activity whether i'm in the gym or a lot of like you know just a lot of activity whether that will cause a lot of buildup of dirt also like if you use a lot of leave-in conditioners that can cause some buildup in, in your in your scalp as well especially when you got braids and you're starting to do that so you can have the nice silky braids like that stuff builds up on your scalp as well which some of those products actually irritate your skin so make sure you pay attention to that so actually one of the other things i want to point out too really pay attention i know i just said it too really pay attention to the products that you use in your hair whatever you use in your hair of course is going to touch your scalp like i said your scalp could literally be just all those chemicals that can be in it possibly could be irritating you so that's why i chose personally to go to a more natural route so that's one of the next points i want to talk about which is coconut oil so one of the things i i came across along with my research and also just going through my own journey what i experienced i started using coconut oil so in addition to wash my hair more frequently and mind you everybody's hair is not like mine your hair might, may, may not need to be washed that often or maybe you need to just wash it maybe a few more times out of those couple weeks or something like like i said everybody has a different buildup level some people have a more oily scalp some people have a more drier scalp and my honestly Mine's honestly is on the kind of the drier side, but me using the right shampoos now and conditioners and also more natural based products is helping me to keep a balance, a balance and not so much irritated scalp. So one of those oils that I actually use, which is coconut oil, I actually look at my notes really, really, really quick. Fun facts about coconut oil reduces inflammation, keeps skin moisturized, and it has a medium chain fatty acids, which possess antimicrobial properties. Which basically worn off harmful harmful bacteria to make to sum it up pretty much. So that's not also the only oil that does. I know another oil that kind of has like some my antimicrobial material. Look, I probably said that term antimicrobial. Sorry, before y'all start jumping down my throat in the comments, mispronunciation. Sorry, is also castor oil. Really do your research. Like I said, all of this plays a role. Make sure you not you are not allergic to these oils because that can cause it your scalp to be irritated as well which continue the, the the problem that we have you guys have right now or just want to know just want to find out which is dandruff so what i would do you don't want to use too much of oil because a little bit goes a long way what i usually do i'll put like a little bit within like the these about yeah on these two fingers and then of course i would do a scalp massage with my fingers also when dealing with um with your shampoo as well when you're starting to wash your hair you want to make sure you use your fingertips this is how you're gonna get it to really do a deep cleanse throughout your scalp because you just don't want to do it on plant it on the outside and it's not getting anywhere within your within your scalp you're not having it like um suds up on your on your scalp as well lather up correct myself that'll cause it to not get rid of all the dirt so make sure you do a deep cleansing with your hair if you guys didn't know that already 
Another thing also that I have, I personally have not tried this one, but I do use apple cider vinegar for other purposes as well. That deals with as far as maintaining pH levels of our vaginal area. I'll do a whole other video as well about the upkeep of the vaginal area, how to make sure it stays tip top, no smell, all that. But that's something that I realized too. And of course, if it does, if it helps the, the um, keep a balanced pH with my skin as well with the lady parts it definitely will work with the scalp so you're not gonna just start pouring some apple cider vinegar on no and it's not gonna make you smell like apple cider vinegar do not before you start oh but wait the smell no no let me finish give me a chance to explain ladies or gentlemen let me explain so basically you're gonna dilute that within some water you don't ever ever and it's also a lot of the properties with um, apple cider vinegar too with with, dig with um, ingesting it too that helps with a lot of balancing your pH and also the digestion. But I'll do that with a whole nother video. So another thing I want to talk about, like I just said, you dilute it with some water. So what I usually do, you can, I would say measure it out, but me personally, I don't. I might do like two to three capfuls from the apple cider vinegar. Make sure it's all natural. Make sure it has the mother in it. Because you don't want to get a more concentrated type of thing that's not actually the full apple cider vinegar. vinegar. Otherwise, it will not have the right effects that, that you need for your scalp. And then it also can cause irritation, which will continue the problem of having dandruff. So as I was referring back to before, once you do this, you would, of course, dilute this with some water. You would pour this into your scalp. Let that sit on there for how I say at least let it sit on there for a couple minutes. Just just start washing your body once you pour that on you. Then after that, rinse it out. Like I said, it will not leave a smell on your hair. It will not leave any weird smell with you. You're gonna be perfectly fine. It's gonna help to balance the pH of your skin though. So guys, those are the things that actually have worked with me. I'm still on a I still am trying different stuff with my with my hair care journey, but for the most part, I definitely have a huge understanding of my hair and how to keep it healthy and how to make it grow. I know it needs to be done to be able to keep my scalp healthy now as far as the oils and stuff. If you have a more dry scalp after you realize you washed it, like I said, some products, shampoos can really dry out your hair. That's when you can use once you get a correct shampoo and you also get an oil that accommodates your skin. Make sure you are not allergic to it, which will cause irritation. Like I said, you need to make sure you always do a scalp massage with it to make sure it really gets deep into your scalp. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This is my journey. I also feel like that can help someone else that needs help with that's that needs help stopping dandruff. Because, like, literally, as a whole child, I remember these, ugh, it's just disgusting flakes and stuff. My hair was clean. My hair was done. I was well taken care of, however. It just wasn't known. It was, it took a while to figure out how to how to do my hair. Even my, some of my own people didn't, didn't realize. So, that that way, that, that kept the dandruff hap coming on and bothering me. Because the products they were using in my hair, such as leave-in conditioner, whatever else they are using in my hair, was actually irritating my scalp. So, just in case you guys have any daughters, sons, whatever the case may be, or you just, however however old you are, dandruff affects everyone. So, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any other remedies that you try, also, I heard um, tea tree oil helps as well. I haven't tried that personally, but if you guys have any other remedies, drop those below and, and, and share it with other people of how that helps you. This video is actually suggested by one of my subscribers, so I just want to help you guys out. Anybody else that needs help with those, that with that Ugh, can't talk with that type of problem so like i said i'll have a whole hair care series going on talking about the different aspects talking about a couple, of course one of the things we talked about was dandruff today so the next subject i'll be doing is talking about how hair masks help our hair so thank you guys for tuning in make sure you subscribe and like this video i will see you guys later peace